Hello, my name's Isaac, and I'm the producer of Money Ladder. Before I could get the project rolling, I first had to pitch it to someone, the deputy director, as you could call him, Adrian Smith. I just kind of said, Paramedic. so we can do whatever we like, so, and then I saw sort of that. You have to have Phoebe feature now. She's hair and makeup. Um, so before Isaac um, was allowed to go ahead with the production, he had to come up with a plan for it, the concept, he had to look at the target audience. All of those um, elements of the production had to be put together and then put into a pitch um, before we were allowed to go to, uh, into production. The name of my product is going to be Money Ladder. The quiz show is going to be about two teams which are playing against each other, trying to make it to the top of this ladder. Um, both teams gamble on how many of a specific topic they can name within a set amount of time, so 30 seconds, try and name as many Olympic sports as you can. I say I could name six, you say you could name seven. I say, no you can't, you've got to name seven sports within this time. And then you've, you move up that many places. If you can't name seven, then the other team moves up seven spaces. I'm going to do a um, pilot show where I test it out with not actual contestants, but fake contestants and see how long it would last if I were to do it. I was concerned maybe that he wouldn't get quality contestants, like he wouldn't be able to recruit contestants, possibly, but um, he seemed pretty confident in that. Yeah, so, so yeah, that's it. Well done, it's, it's highly ambitious, I'd say. Yeah. Um, you've got a lot to take on. Definitely. A lot to take on, and you, you ought to, I suppose, work with other people and mm. get get that filming in here yeah. set up really quickly. Yeah, I'll need to have a crew which are uh, you know, definitely available. Get in here in the next few weeks and just mm. get filming as mm. quickly as you possibly can. Yeah. Um, to find out what all those little pitfalls might be and where the areas, and to start dressing the set and getting it all looking right and everything yeah. like that. Even while you're researching, you, can, you should be doing that, I think. Yeah. It was a very strong pitch actually, the idea was good, it was solid, it was a good solid idea presented during the pitch, good detail I thought. We spoke at the end and um, it was pretty clear to me that this was going to make some money, I wanted to make some money, you know, going to be popular. Okay, so Adrian's given me the go ahead, he said that he liked my pitch and it's going to work well, so I guess it's time to begin the project presenter here, LEDs coming down. So after like sketching out what I wanted the room to look like, I didn't want just my opinion, I wanted someone else's opinion. So I asked Seb to come in and have a look and see what he thought. Okay, so from this angle, yeah, yeah. you probably need to look this way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I've got cameras. four cameras. Yeah, so what is this, like two close-ups on each? Thing? One close-up on this team, this close-up on that team, this close-up on the hostess over the whole thing. Okay. And are you going to have, like, cameramen on all of them? No, so they're all going to be stationary by the one on the host, because the host is going to be moving around. Cool. So three of them just need to be stationary, no. Yeah. This is going to be on both people, because both people are working together yeah. at all times. So it's a close-up on both people? Yeah. It's not on just one person, okay. it's on like the whole team. Cool. Um, yeah. Perfect. That's good. Great. Well, much appreciated, sir. Not a problem. Kev, he's on Beat the Chasers. Found him through some links I have. Yeah, 
going to ask him a few questions just because pilots tomorrow. A little bit nervous, but hopefully he'll give me some reassurance on what I need to do and what I should not do. So I met up with Kev, who was on Beat the Chasers. He was a contestant and a local quiz master. This is how you know it's posh, because there's ladies captain. <laughs> um, I just wanted to get a bit of an insight as to how the set was, how they planned it, what they did, just so that I could kind of take into my own take the inspiration and then also I could ask him about how he structures questions so that I could get advice from the best there is I guess. I'm doing a quiz show myself that's my final project so I was talking to my mum because she always goes to your quizzes and I thought I might as well get some tips from yeah. the best. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah, okay yeah I mean I wouldn't go as far as that. But <laughs> yes, I like setting the quizzes that you yeah. comes to. So they're good fun. Yeah. As you know, I set the quiz here. I've done that for about ten years. Yeah. Um, I've always liked quizzes. I've always been quite good at quizzes. And people have often said, "Why don't you, want, why don't you go on one of the TV ones?" Hmm. I've tried for years to get on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Yeah. Never managed that. And then one day, I was watching the chase. And afterwards, a little advert came up saying we're having a spin-off of the chase mm. and we're looking for contestants. I said, I'll give that a go. Sent it off and got rung back like the next day. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, just Sorry. a little bit about you quizzing, you being a quiz master. Yeah. So, like, how do you, how do you, like, find out the questions you want to ask and what difficulty you want to put them at? That's a very good question. So, my sense is always every round has some sort of theme. Mm. So there's some that we always do. We do an in the news round, which is just stuff that's happened in the last yeah. week. Um, we have a missing link round, which is generally one of the most popular ones. Mm. So nine questions yeah. are at random, but something links mm. them all together. We never have a sport round. Right. Because from experience, when we do a sport round, half the room goes, mm. we ask sport questions, but we kind of scatter them around. Yeah. So there probably are 10 sport questions. Yeah. At a quiz, but not all gathered together. So I'm hoping to be the host for this new show, Money Ladder. Um, I don't know too much about it yet, but I'm hoping I'll get told a lot more. Um, it seems quite interesting, and I've been given a few calls about it. They seem to think that my uh, talents are... Uh, suitable for them. So, hoping I'll find out a little bit more. So the main focus of doing this pilot episode is just to show all the rounds, see what works best, see if the camera angles potentially might need changing. One, one, one. So who's no? What are the teams? Those guys. I think Richie Daddy's would be up. No, because Richie said switching it up. Let's switch it up. Yeah, Billy wants to switch up. Do you want to switch it up? Let's switch it up. I'm moving it over here. You dumbass. It's nothing coming up. Happy relationship among workers. It's really nice. No, no, no. Just go with that and then hold. It does make it. Yeah. Okay, so Seb, yeah. I want you to first say like, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Money Ladder. I'm your host, Seb Bignall, and this is Team One. I'm Devon. And then I'll cut to Team One. Ready, three, two, one. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Money Ladder. I'm your host, Sebastian Bignall, and here's Team One. Yay! Yay. Here is Team Two. Yeah! Woo! Okay. Go on. Go I'll on. do that again, you with your own Team One. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Money Ladder. I'm your host, Sebastian Bignall, 
And joined with us today is Team One, Richie yeah, yeah, and Rob. Yeah, yeah. Did it again, yeah. did it again. Okay, Actually, one, more time. one more time, one more time. Three, two, one. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Money Ladder. I'm your host, Sebastian Bignall, and joined with us today is Team One, Richie and Rob. Yeah. <laughs> and Team Two, Joel and Billy. Yeah! Better? Yeah, perfect. Cool. Right. When we filming? And... Cool. <laughs> This is the game show where your knowledge for This is the game show where your knowledge will help you climb to the top. Now the prize for today is an outstanding hundred thousand pounds. So yeah. without further ado, let's meet our contestants. So how do you think the pilot went as a host? Um for uh, for a pilot I'm it went okay. Uh we eventually got there. Um of course, I wasn't actually given my lines until the day. I don't even understand your game show. How am I going to tell them? Um, so it was a bit on the spot, but I'm sure you can edit past that and you'll see what the show is really about. I would say it went interestingly. The host, which I've used before and was great before, seemed a little bit childish, I would say. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, the organisation of it, I didn't know uh, exactly what I was supposed to be saying until the moment, so it led to a few awkward jumps in time. I didn't actually know how the game itself worked, so that was fun learning that on the spot as well. So they keep answering questions until they get it wrong. No, so they've. So you're gonna ask Richie a question first, right? Okay. If Richie answers that correctly, yeah. he keep, he answers the next question. Yeah. So if he answers that incorrectly, answer. Rob takes over. So that's why I just said, and you said no. So okay. Richie okay. gets yeah. seven yeah. Just, just right. They keep answering until, until they get it wrong. wrong. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sorry, what sorry, I said. <laughs> um, but yeah, he definitely could have done some things better. Oh well. In the past. Yeah, you've got some bad news. Yeah. Uh, they've decided, or I say they, Isaac, and his directorial glory, has decided that I would be better off not hosting uh, Money Ladder after the pilot episode. Well, I said they'd do a good job and he did what I wanted. I don't think that he's up for the main show. He doesn't have the maturity that I need in order to create the best production I can. So back from Easter, what did you get up to? The first week um, I had to kind of knuckle down and get all the editing done for the pilot. So that's what I mainly focused on and then also went over the footage which, with Kev. But the second one, I used the advice from Kev, as well as I got one of his quizzes, which he had done. I used that for research and wrote my final kind of questions that I was going to ask. Tested them out with a few friends, refined them, added some more, took some away, and then got my final script together. Right, so we're going to start off with the failure on Wednesday. Um, failure? Yeah, Harsh. you're going to record. So, one of the main parts of the show required an extra member. I need three people, and then I need one person on lights and points. Oh, yeah. We were all under the impression that Phoebe was going to turn up, as she had previously messaged me. Because I said, can you come in tomorrow and be on my game show? She said, I'm coming in tomorrow regardless. I don't really want to be in the game show. I, I didn't reply, but she could have just been on lights. David. Are you coming in? Are you coming in? No. Are you coming into college today? 
Oh, you bitch. You messed Isaac up. He needed your help for the game show. You told him you'd come in regardless, so you lied to him. When Joel called her, she hung up on him, which was irritating, to say the least. Me. Isaac, you go home now. Yeah, might as well. Why do you think that she didn't show up? No idea. Sorry for making you come in, Richie and Joe. I don't know. Am I? Today is the day of production, I'm planning on shooting today, hopefully get it all done and I shouldn't have to film anymore, maybe take a few more pictures but apart from that this is, this is the day. Once I'm all set up and we're ready to go then it's go time. Right, listen to me, if they buzz with us to get the answer, give them one point if they get this one. Surely that is the missing link. What do you mean no, about the no, one the point? missing link's at the bottom. That's just, that's just what's going on. What's the thing is that? Oh, for God's sake. Whatever, okay, let's go. Oh. You're the script in the very beginning. There wasn't too much impatience beforehand, but a little bit from Richie. <laughs> He's chilled. Hey, wake up, Richie. Um, so, you, you remember how round one works, yeah? Yeah. If you buzz in first and say that, you get an extra five points. Right. And then the last one is, I will give you the link. You just have to answer ten questions. Okay. That's all it is. Uh, there'll be three rounds and then one of you will leave and then two more rounds. Okay? Okay. I'm trying not to talk into it. Richie. Oh, I just don't get a mic then, okay. I see how <laughs> your it voice is loud enough. I see how it fucking is. So the microphones that we'd organised to be used had had an unfortunate mishap and were not available which was quite irritating, but we work with what we've got. Two, three, there they are. So, before filming, I knew that I wanted Joel and Richie to be part of it, but um, I wasn't sure whether I wanted Richie to be on camera or behind the scenes. So, on the day of recording, I had asked both of them if they would want to be in it, Richie said yes, Joel said he would be fine being behind the scenes, so I switched up the roles a bit and ended up having Richie on camera and Joel doing the lighting. I will just go at the end, oh they are all, and then if you say like wrong but they are all just, right. Just, just nod at me. Yeah, yeah. Just nod at me. Yeah. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Money Ladder. The quiz show where your knowledge will help you climb to the top. The prize today can reach an outstanding £100,000. Oh. Now, let's meet our contestants. Contestant one. Rob. How old are you, Rob? 17. And why have you come here today? To win money. Okay, and contestant two. I'm Harrison. And why have you come here today? Money. And contestant three. Richard. Oh, I'm Richie. I just want a new PC. <laughs> there they are. And now let's get on to round one. <laughs> what element is derived from the Greek word for stone lithos? Richie. Lithium. Congratulations, that's 10 points. <laughs> what 2011 song by David Guetta and Sia was removed? <laughs> Rob? <laughs> Congratulations, Rob. You have gained your third point. Let's go. Rob, unfortunately, after this round, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Rob, you're basically new. Unfortunately, <laughs> Rob, this is your time on the show. Goodbye, Rob. 
Now that is the end of round three, and we're going to advance on to the final. Okay, Rob, Rob we need your mic. <laughs> You You're doing well, Richie. What's the point? Uh, so, Richie's 22, Harrison's 24. Oh! At 10 point. At 10 point. Oh, oh, really that one's bad 10 point for Rob. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which he doesn't even get. You shouldn't have even. You shouldn't have answered <laughs> just to give him a bit of a chance. Oh no, I can't. He still would it. not have been anywhere near either of you. Hey. Well, no, he would have. He would have drawn with it, yeah. Yeah. And before going on to the final, I'll remind you of the scores. Richie, you were at 22 points. Harrison, you're at 24 points. It's a very close game here. Yeah. And the topic, which I believe both of you will be good at, is games. Does it include video games? Includes video games, it includes playground. <laughs> Unfortunately, Harrison, you've lost the game show. And Richie, you've won. I just think you, you could win this for yourself at home. Come and find out for yourself and join us on next time. Straight there against us on Money Ladder. I do have a question though. Where is my money? Thank you for watching. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah! What the fuck? Harrison. I don't even eat chocolate. That's that was fucking wrong. That was really good. That was really good. That was really good. Now you just Did you get a little bit bored in the middle? <laughs> Shit's right. I'm quite happy with how it went, and they kept quite quiet behind the scenes this time, which was much more useful. I think it came to around 40 minutes, but this time, instead of loads of parts that I'll have to cut out, I feel like quite a lot of it was solid footage that I can use. I think we're all very pleased with the final result. Um, it looks good, it's, um, it, it hits the target audience really well, it's exciting, it's a new format, and hopefully it will go, we're going to go into further production for the, the rest of the series. It'll be great, yeah. Right, well I think we're done. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sur mon lit à bouffer sa langue en buvant Prends mon whisky quant à moi un peu dormi Vie débris mais j'ai dû dormir Dans la gouttière où j'ai eu un flash Ouh En quatre couleurs Allez hop un matin Une louloute est venue chez moi Poupée de cellophane, cheveux chinois Un sparadra, une gueule de bois A bu ma bière dans un grand verre En caoutchouc Oh.